another piece of the medical mile is now in place. Grand Rapids now home to one of the world's only total body PET scanners. And Val, you got to see it firsthand today. I did. And here's why it is so special. So your average PET scan takes between 20 and 45 minutes mm -hmm. for the entire body. This one, one minute to scan wow. for cancer tumors. It's amazing. It's located at Doug Meyer Medical Innovation Building on Monroe, and it's home to Banff Health. That's the sound of medical innovation happening right here in West Michigan. We know and we don't afraid to make big things happen. And that's what I love about this community. That's how we start. Dr. Anthony Chang began his vision for Bold Advanced Medical Future, or BAMF, six years ago. The idea? To bring the advancements made in cancer treatments under one roof and then innovate them. The things cancer patient doesn't have is time. And with the delivery of the new total body PET scanner, Dr. Chang and his colleagues have cut that diagnosis treatment time in half, or actually more than that. Most PET scans can take 20 to 45 minutes. This PET scan has the ability to give you a total body scan for cancer in just one minute. So we can use this in information to decide if you should use, receive this kind of treatment and also how much dose we should inject into you instead of uh, just guessing. And that therapy will happen within hours of receiving your PET scan. It's a very precise, targeted, specific type of cancer treatment as opposed to some of the more general cancer care that we're used to. Dr. Brandon Mancini is the medical director for Banff. He says the reason this can happen so quickly is because of the radio pharmacy that's located in the same building as the PET scan. We're going to be able to produce radio tracers that have not been able to be used clinically and again impact more people more quickly. This advancement will make Grand Rapids a destination for not only cancer treatment but cancer research, a fact that is not lost on Dr. Mancini. And I think it's very realistic that we can approach cancer being a chronic disease for somebody as opposed to a death sentence. And it's all happening right here in Grand Rapids. From death sentence to chronic disease. <sighs> it's just amazing to think that it's happening here. You know, right now the cancers that they're treating are going to be prostate, thyroid, and neuroendocrine cancers, but they're going to be adding more yeah. as, of course, they get up and running, and they're hoping to start accepting patients this summer <sighs> already, which is amazing. Of course, this project needed a lot of collaboration, and it was made possible by a $19.5 million grant to MSU by Doug Meyer. And now this is really, really exciting for the medical model, but will this treatment be available to everyone? You know, that's the most important question that yeah. most people want to know. This is great, but can I use it? Right. And so they are currently working with insurance companies to cover this treatment so everyone can have it. And Julia, we are moving into a time where, you know, you get your cancer diagnosis and treatment per personalized to your tumor in just two hours. Yes. So they'll scan you, they'll tell you where your tumor is, they'll treat it in two hours, and then you can be on your way home, and it is happening right here in Grand Rapids. And, you know, I, I can see that people from all over will want to come to Grand Rapids. I bet you they're going to be booked up solid for a long time. It is great news. It really is. That's a great story.